We would like to welcome Dr. Shirley McKellar. Dr. McKellar is the mayor pro temporary of Tyler and city councilwoman representing District 3. She is a retired major from the United States Army Nurses Corps, where she was deployed to support Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. She was awarded the Meritorious Service Medal, the highest non-battlefield Army commendation. A faithful friend to UT Tyler, she served on the UT Tyler Search Committee for the Dean of our new medical school. Dr. McKellar founded and is CEO of McKellar, McKellar, and Taka and Associates, a nonprofit with multiple initiatives to aid in the growth and development of our community. Dr. McKella holds three weekly radio talk shows covering current topics, both locally and nationally. She will be inducted into the National Black Radio Hall of Fame in 2022. Dr. McKella received her undergraduate degree in nursing and chemistry from Texas Women's University her master's degree with honors in community health and nursing from UT Austin, and her doctorate in healthcare management from Columbus College and School of Public Health. She later returned to UT Austin for her BS in political science, I believe after a stint here at UT Tyler. She lives in Tyler with her husband, Danny McKellar, who has joined us today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present Dr. Shelley, Shirley sorry, McKellar. Thank you, Dr. Calhoun. Good afternoon to each of you, to Dr. Calhoun, to Dean Neil Gray of the College of Arts and Science, Dean Javier Capiros, College of Engineering, and to you, the graduates, congratulations, 2021. Let's give them another round of applause. You have just completed a major feast. Graduating from college is a huge accomplishment for any student in any year, but you managed to complete your requirements despite a global pandemic, a nationwide lockdown, and the economic instability that accompanied it. Not to mention, many of you have lost friends and family members and loved ones along the way. Just know they too are cheering you on today. We welcome the graduate patrons, your families, your friends, and your professors. As mentioned, I am Dr. Shirley McKellar, and I am a mother, a grandmother, a wife of my loving husband, Danny McKellar, a veteran, a businesswoman, a member of North Tenahaw Church of Christ, city council, and mayor pro tem, and I proudly serve in those positions for you. I've attended many UT Tyler graduations, and it is an honor to be asked to share this moment with you. I too am a proud UT Tyler graduate. Education has always been a major part of my life. My parents began teaching me at home, and then I went to John against Kitty College, where I learned structure. I then attended Dogan School, named after the great president of Wyland College. It was under his leadership that I learned so much about tact, sympathy, and vision. Just as Dr. Dogan had his guide, I would like to share three values to help you in your guidance today. That would be education, welcoming kindness, and public service. We're gathered here today on this beautiful UT Tyler campus to celebrate a significant achievement in your education. 
But rather than viewing it as a capstone, let's view it as a milestone. Now, why a milestone instead of a capstone? Because I want you to look at your graduation, not as an end, but as a marker of how far you have come. This is not an end. This is a beginning. Education is a lifelong endeavor, and it will enrich your lives forevermore. That is why I view what your professors have already told you, as well as your parents. It was one of the things that Dr. Dogen enhanced in his life, and I strongly identify with him. It gives me great pleasure to stand before you today. The American education system sent men to the moon and man-made objects into interstellar space. Education should be adaptable, but it should also be stable, rooted in proven methods. One of those methods is a lifetime of learning, and you have benefited from that lifetime of learning through the revolution of education and communication. Now let me share with you that serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom was a vigorous example. I know that you have shared a vigorous example every single day, as Dr. Calhoun mentioned, with the schedules that you have. But you have adapted and you have educated yourself and you've spent time even on Zoom schedules instead of in the classroom. But you have achieved. You have now spent part of your life in the classrooms. You've maintained your focus and you've made your families very proud. Now you're looking toward the future, the next chapter, and you're wondering, how will I make a mark in this world? How will I distinguish myself and be successful? Education now builds education in the future. Consider Hiram Rhodes Rebels, the first African-American senator and founder of the historical black college, Alcorn College in Mississippi, a powerful and independent leader. He organized two black units of Union troops during the Civil War and wrote a widely circulated letter to President Ulysses S. Grant criticizing the exploitation of African-Americans during the Reconstruction. Then he also went on to work with Bishop College. So while Bishop College no longer exists, its sister institution, Wiley, is experiencing a renaissance thanks to the renewed interest in its heritage driven by Denzel Washington and Oprah Winfrey's film, The Great Debaters. Growing up on a family farm here in Tyler, Texas, I took pride in what was presented to me. I saw the great beauty of East Texas, from the evening breeze swaying in the Spanish moss, in the bald cypress trees along Caddo Lake, to the morning dew on the yellow roses in the gardens of Tyler. We are in a land of rich natural resources, such as oil, coal, natural gas, lumber, and clay. East Texas agriculture produces beef, kale, black-eyed peas, poultry, blueberries, purple hull peas, dewberries, pork, and the list goes on and on, even vineyards in East Texas. Our land has many resources, but none like the East Texas people like yourselves. You, our children, our grandchildren, our friends, and our families are irreplaceable. During my congressional campaign, I traveled around East Texas, learning the great values that East Texas has to present. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Be fair. Respect East Texas deeper than you respect yourself. Because when you respect others, you will receive respect. You never have to leave East Texas to have a great and good career. Dr. Kirk Calhoun, our illustrious president, and my modern day historian and history maker and hero, can provide 
amazing careers in healthcare, nursing, medical doctor, engineering, technology, cryptocurrency, artificial intelligence, and education. The list is wide and deep. Even though I have a deep respect for humility and humanity here in East Texas, we also say that there were some unwelcoming things that were happening with some East Texans. But I know that the graduates today is gonna to make a change for that and treat people like 